Yes, Gawa. <laughs> The cam recovery function block is used uh, to recover from an e-stop situation or another situation where uh, camming was interrupted. Here's an example of uh, what the uh, um, situation may look like. So all the way to the left-hand side of our, uh, of our trace here, you can see everything's running just fine, and then all of a sudden we have an e-stop condition here. When this e-stop occurs, uh, for whatever reason, the master continues to move. Perhaps there's a little inertial load on the master, et cetera. But now we have an incongruity between our master position and our slave position. They're not in sync anymore. So before we restart our cam cycle, we want to make sure that we get them back in sync. And the cam slave recover block is going to allow that to happen. If I uh, take a look at uh, the block here, and I look inside of it, we can see that what occurs when this uh, function block is executed is first it looks for the uh, slave axis, make sure it's at a standstill. And once it is at a standstill, it calls that cam slave lookup table that we just talked about. And then given the master position, it's going to have the uh, slave position uh, uh, fed back to it at which point it will then do an absolute move and move the slave position into its correct position so that the uh, cam will be back in synchronization uh, once we do another uh, cam in function block. So back to our, uh, our little graph here. Here's our e-stop recovery. We execute that cam slave recover. It looks up in the table what the uh, slave position should be. It does an absolute move to that slave position. And now we are back in, um, um, in sync as far as the uh, master and slave position go. And then we can re-execute our Y cam in and everything uh, is back to normal. So there's an example usage of the slave lookup. And I think what happens here, uh, we're showing in the green section towards the right when you're ready, when you have your master and slave realigned, at that point you'd be using a Y cam in function block. But instead of using a, a normal uh, engage position of zero, you would be using the master's current position as the engage position in immediate mode because you're already at some portion of the way through the cycle. Right. They're already in synchronization, so yes, you could use the immediate mode with the cam master position and the. Um, Cam will pick up from where it left off, so to speak. So that's the uh, cam slave recovery routine.